All right, guys, welcome to the shop. Super exciting video happening right now. Um, this is an unboxing, but it's not a regular unboxing. This is antique and vintage axe and axe related goods right here. So this stuff was gifted to me by a man we'll call S Black. So I've recently made friends with a neighbor of mine that has a massive axe collection. And he's a super knowledgeable guy and he's got a just insane stuff. And he's gifted me some things. So we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, I've looked into this middle box and there's some really cool stuff in here. This box right here has something that's wrapped in butcher paper. He, he was a butcher, right? I believe this is an ax. I believe it's an old vintage ax in this red box right here. So I wanna get into this, let's check it out. All right, so right off the bat, if you haven't seen a floating ax, this is a floating ax. Okay, so it's got steel on the pole and the bit is steel also, and it's missing the plug but it's got a plug. Um, the rest of the body is made out of, I believe, magnesium. And it's a flot axe, F-L-O-T. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna do, I'll do a whole nother video on this. Uh, you guys will be seeing this piece around. All right, this guy, well, we'll just take a quick, we'll take a quick peek here. So, well, needless to say, it's a legitimus box. Collins legitimus box. And I'm assuming that's original. So I don't know what was in it, but um, from the factory, well, there's that. So this is, that's gonna wait till the end. I don't know what it is, but it's wrapped up and he's already given, you know, he gave me this guy. So that's a, that's a slick piece. Um, so for that one to be wrapped, I'm assuming, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna curse myself. I'm assuming that's a really nice piece. So, um, and you know, I did the short on this, uh, Modern Woodsman of America. This is a parade ax. It's an aluminum parade ax. All right. This has got some trippy things in it. Okay. Some really trippy things, but then you got these guys right here. So this is an old true temper, uh, ax crate, right? So it says, uh, three and a half pound Michigan B grade slim bent. Oh, oh, candles. Sweet. So that's unique right there, right? O candles. That's awesome. All right. What else have we got here? True temper flint edge. Okay. Michigan pattern. B grade slim bent O candles. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think he said they would put like six. Well, I got another box. It was a double bit box. So I think there were six axes in, in one of these and it was, you know, it was covered up right here and the handles would stick going up. So that alone is awesome. That, that's a nice gift right there. That's a fantastic gift. I'm going to set this to the side. All right, guys. So here, all right. So I have opened this up and I have looked at a couple things here. Have you ever seen a fish ax? This is a fish axe. Um, pretty interesting piece. We've got some, some serrated, kind of a, a saw type ridge. I think that's for scaling. And then you've got, I don't know, like a gut hook, maybe a bottle opener. And then, you know, the, the knife edge. Got a lanyard on there. And so it's got the original sticker here and it's a lively lad. So that is a lively lad. Now I haven't dated this yet, but um, man, I mean, a fish ax, right? Didn't know anything like that existed. So that's, that's pretty slick. That's gonna go on the wall, no doubt. Um, you know, pretty cool lumberjack pen. I don't know if I'll use it. I might just keep it as a collectible. But uh, you know, once you get into collecting I guess it's it's everything and anything, right? Now this piece right here, so I believe he said this is a Cracker Jack. You remember the Cracker Jacks? They'd have a little toy in there. So that's a Cracker Jack's axe. Little tiny thing, that's cool. Feels like it's made out of steel, uh, probably cast steel. Um, I don't know, I, I think this is the the 
the second most exciting piece out of the bunch. I don't know what it is, but that's just cool. I got to keep that away from the kids. They'll be, you know, trying to use that with their little army toys and stuff. All right. Now I have not looked at this piece. This is Hofritz. Hofritz uh, made in Germany. So definitely a multi-tool. And again, an axe, right? But you've got some pliers, a hammer, a screwdriver, um, some wire cutters. You know, again, you get into it, man. It, it gets pretty deep. Stuff starts getting deep. This guy, that's intense right there. But now, now we have... Get this out of here. So a one ounce coin, legendary warriors, and then so he collects. Um, he's got a massive collection of. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Ezekiel blood, um, broad axes, but they're blood broad axes, and and I don't believe this is any relation. I believe, um, I believe it's something different. But look at that. That's a a one ounce silver coin. What an amazing gift. I just super stoked. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. All right. Now quite possibly I might say one of the most mysterious uh you know, shrouded in mystery. This axe right here is absolutely shrouded in mystery and history. So this, this is deep right here, guys. This is super deep, okay? This lady right here, um, Nations, what was it? Cindy Nations, Cynthia Nations. Anyway, this lady was responsible for, um, she was pre-prohibition. She hated alcohol. She was known for smashing up saloons and bars with an ax um, because she, I think she had a, an ex-husband that was just a, a terrible alcoholic. So anyway, from, from, from what I've heard, what I've read, and what uh, Mr. Black had told me a bit, these were made, and she sold these, and she sold other axe trinkets to pay her bail, to pay uh, you know whoever was suing her, and things of this sort. So this is antique. These are hard to come by. I don't, I don't have any idea uh, how many were made, but what's interesting here is the Laurel Stove and Ranges Art Stove Co., Detroit, Michigan, okay? Now, one of the things that's odd here is it's Lorette, okay? On this, all the spelling is the same except for the T. Um, it should have an R. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, and this is going to take some digging, and this piece right here definitely deserves uh, its own video, um, and a bunch of research to really try to get to the bottom of it. But yeah, so they were a stove company, right? Now the only thing that I can see here that makes sense, obviously it's not sharp, obviously it's cast, but see this little hook right here? Sometimes there's that round um, round hole with a, a cover on top of the old stoves that you could put a pot in or you could you could feed the, the wood in through there. And I'm not sure if that was to you know, to pick that cap up. So anyway, about it, this right here is, it's like I said, man, it's out there, but it's super cool. That's, that's super cool. This piece, that's super cool. All of it, all of it, man. All of it is awesome. So let me put this away and then we're going to dig into, um, we're going to dig into this, uh, this red box over here. This is interesting, and I'll do some research on this, and I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know, maybe it's for, like, nuts? Maybe it's a tool for the toolbox? It's definitely got a little axe on it. I don't know what the, the tool designer had in mind when they built that. It's definitely a multi-tool. All right, we got this guy. We'll get this put away and we're gonna we're gonna open up this uh
Collins Legitimus box. All right, here we go. Now, alone, the box alone, a Legitimus box. I'm really curious, I'm really curious what, what originally came in it. Now, I guess, I guess the other curiosity is, is, is this a Collins Legitimus axe head in here? But then again, I don't even know if it's a, an axe head at all. It could just be a rock. Oh, what do we have here? Now, I would go out on a limb and assume it's a Legitimus axe, but then, then again, it's got a Black Raven sticker on it. All right. What do you think? What do you think? I think that's a sticker. Is that a sticker? Looks like it's just a paper cutout. Kelly Axe and Toolworks. Definitely glue that to something. Alright. So this guy was a butcher. So it looks like we got some butcher paper here. Ooh. All right. So I think this is a Michigan pattern. It looks like it's got some nice patina on it. And the bit is in pretty good shape and for anybody who knows what they're looking at that true temper up there is in an interesting position and all it says is true temper that is a black raven I used to mark X on all my stuff when I was in the army. So I got an X mark right there. This is my first Black Raven right here, guys. I daydream about finding one of these in the wild. You know, you're out at a barn sale. You reach down and pick one up. But to have one given to you, that's pretty special. That, that is amazing. All right, all right. Wow. So looking at it, I can see why you painted it because it's, it's pretty faint. The stamps or the uh, the etching is, is still there, but it's. It's super faint, 100 something year old axe that's been used. Kelly Axe and Toolworks of the American Fork and Hoe Company, Charleston, West Virginia, USA. That's awesome. I go definitely chop a tree down with this. Uh, almost looks like a three right there, but. Man, yeah, it's going to take a lot of work to uh, to pay this guy back, right? Not really pay him back, but you get someone that gives you gifts like this, and you got to not say one up because it's hard to one up a a guy like this, but got to do something. So I've been working, I've been working on this guy uh, for him after he gave me that aluminum axe so he likes the Connecticut's and and that's his well I I kinda redesigned some stuff but that's a Blacks 187 Axe Co um, so yeah yeah this is awesome guys 
so that's that's it right there. That was that was an amazing gift from a new friend and fellow axe collector. So with any luck, we'll see a more of Black's collection. It's got some crazy stuff in there, right? You, you saw some of what you saw. You got a taste of it, right? So hopefully we'll be able to see see some more of that unique stuff that he has. Um, and and I hope that these videos getting into this collectible side of things. I hope these videos stimulate you guys a little bit to uh, to sh you know get, gain a little bit more appreciate appreciation for the axe for the history of this stuff and i'm gonna i'm gonna dive more into the history of it i'm it may be kind of geeky um you know and it's not the cool bushcraft thing but it's it's the history of it and this stuff's important so anyway i'm gonna stop yammering hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed and you like this content hit that subscribe button and uh if you liked it hit that thumbs up button okay see you guys next time